off of the Falcon 9. There we have the Dragon in range of the space station. <laughs> All right. Welcome, everybody, to uh, Hawthorne, headquarters of uh, Space Exploration Technologies. We're here to unveil Dragon version 2. Uh, Dragon version 1 is right above your heads. Uh, in fact, this is the, the first uh, Dragon spacecraft that came back from orbit. And you can see the, the scorch marks on the, on the heat shield, uh, the thrusters that are fired. Uh, it's, uh, it's a real, real spacecraft. Uh, and I'll, I'll, tell you a little, I'll start off by telling you a little bit about the Dragon version 1 before showing you Dragon version 2. And when we first created Dragon version 1, uh, we, we didn't really know how to create a, a spacecraft. We'd never designed a spacecraft before. So while there were, there were a lot of interesting technologies in version 1, it does have a relatively conventional landing uh, approach. So it, 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 it throws out parachutes to land in the water off the coast of California after it comes back from the space station. Um, and it does have a, a life support system, but not one that can last for a long time or, or carry a lot of people. And uh, so it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great spacecraft, and it was a great um, proof, of con con proof of concept. It showed us uh, what it took to bring something back from orbit, which is a very difficult thing to do. Um, and usually when something comes in from orbital velocity, it, it, it burns up in a big fireball. So, but, but going from, from Dragon version 1, we wanted to take a, a big step in technology, really create something that was a step change in, in spacecraft technology. And, uh, and, and some important characteristics of that are the ability to to land anywhere on land uh, propulsively. So that's one of the things that Dragon version 2 will be able to do. So you, you'll be able to land anywhere on Earth with the accuracy of a helicopter, uh, which, is, which is, I think, something that a spaceship should, a modern spaceship should be able to do. And it'll be capable of carrying seven people, seven astronauts, for several days. It, uh, it has an improved version of our Pika heat shield. And uh, it, it's all around, I think, a, a, a really a big leap forward in technology. It really takes things to the next level. So with that, let's, let's see the Dragon version 1. We're going to do the countdown here. All right. Oh, Dragon version 2. <laughs> T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, So uh, we have a, an animation that shows you how Dragon version 2 will work. So let's roll that uh, animation. <laughs> 